What's up, guys? It's me. Um. Uh. Hey, this is my probably um fourth take. I really screwed it up, so I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing now. Uh, this is how to mod Minecraft uh 1.6 uh successfully. Um. Without using Mod Loader because Mod Loader everyone knows sucks. It runs probably about. I want to say 30 mods compared to Forge that can run probably hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of mods. Now here's the deal about modding. Um, I'm going to do this video in two parts because Bandicam is only letting us record um, 10 minutes at a time now, which is really stupid, and I don't have money to spend on Bandicam. So I'll probably do it in two parts so that way I don't cut off anything. Um, guys, uh, like I was trying to say, one thing you need to remember is when you do mod Minecraft, there only uh, are a few mods that are formatted and complete. Um, for example, uh, too many items is 100% complete, but it always is. Um, and I'll give you some links to some of the mods that I found, but you can pretty much just go on Planet Minecraft and find your own mods. Um, <coughs> and I will show you that it works, so... Um, uh, another note, uh, 1.5 seemed to run pretty well with mods. Uh, it did lag just a bit if you had big ones, and it wouldn't launch as quickly. Um, but 1.6, first of all, lags all on its own. Uh, and install mods only makes that about 100% worse. So I'm not saying you'll lag yourself out, and I am lagging uh, here. I don't know why it's doing this. Um, I am a bit here uh, because of Bandicam. Uh, and I don't know why they did the new launcher either. It looks really stupid. Um, so, guys, I'm really sorry about that. I mean, I share your pain. Um, so, I know I haven't told you anything about how to install mods, but I just want to show you that you have mods installed. So let's go ahead and get ready. Um, one thing you'll notice about Minecraft with Forge is it will take very long for Minecraft to actually... Uh, kick off. So we'll just go ahead and wait. All right, and it's not starting. So um, instead of wasting our time, uh, it'll just do its thing. Um, so, anyway, let's go ahead and go into roaming. Um, and if you don't know how to go into roaming, um, I'm on Windows 8, so I'm just going to show you here. You should just go into the little start bar that's right here, you know, uh, looks like a little Windows thing, uh, where my file is and you'll type in percent app data percent, and um, it should come up as a little thing. It's my computer's lagging because of Minecraft, um, called roaming. In roaming folder where you find, oh, there's Minecraft. Uh, where you find um, your, you know, you can mod, you know, WinRAR, Batch, Video Wallpaper, Red Snow, all that, all that good stuff. So you will need to go into dot Minecraft, but I already have it pulled out right there. Um, Minecraft again here. I want to say this while I still have time. Uh, it will say not responding. You'll just have to wait for it to actually respond, um, unless your computer's beast. Mine isn't. Uh, I do have eight gigabytes RAM, but that doesn't mean that it's a beast computer because it's the laptop. Um, Anyway, getting off track, you need to go into dot .minecraft. As you can see, I do have mods, and I do have, um, I don't have core mods, that's one thing, uh, they took out. Um, I think it just made people confused, that's why Forge took it out. Um, there goes Minecraft. Um, hold on. Alright. So, Minecraft actually just went, and that means I need to install a new Forge version, uh, but don't worry about that because I'm going to do it anyway. Anyway, guys, I do have mods. Um, before we even start, the first thing you'll want to do is delete anything that says Forge, or, and the core mods, and the mods folder. Why do you need to do this? Well, because Forge, uh, the jar file, will not be coming out of bin anymore. It'll be looking for a different mods folder coming from a different source, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so you will need to delete all those files. Once you do that, you will need to get your FML installer, which I'll go ahead and pull out of here from my last video because I didn't think I was going to use it. Um, and I will leave a link in the description, as every YouTuber always does. And whenever it decides to 
There goes. Okay, so once you double click this file to make sure it is actually a legit uh, FML installer, you will see that it will come up as this, and it should say Forge Mod Loader Mod System Installer. You want to click Install Client. Make sure that this says Roaming App Data Dot Minecraft, um, and then click OK and a message will come up almost instantly. I'm not going to do it because I already did a uh, mod. Um, you know what? I might as well do it because I need to restore my versions anyway. Hello? There it goes. Okay. So, click OK and almost instantly... Almost instantly... There it goes. Uh, okay, two opened. Um, okay. Successfully installed an FML version. FML. You want to remember this so you know where it is. Um, so go, okay, and install 2 for me. So go into .minecraft and go into versions. Now, versions keeps all of these uh, jars together so that you can kind of run more than one Minecraft at a time instead of like the old Minecraft. This is uh, probably a better way to do it. Um, old Minecraft where you can only run, run one jar unless you had that special jar file where you could change versions. But now you don't need that because you can do this. So. Um, for me, it looks like I installed this one. Let's go ahead and delete both of those so you can just see it install the right one. And it's because this is running that, so I need to close that window. Bye-bye, Minecraft. Try again. Okay, so let's go ahead and install this for me again. Sorry, guys. I know I'm kind of slowing you down here. Okay. Lag. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so... Um, I'll open it again, and I'll see instantly that there's an FML version here, and we'll see these two. Um, one thing people do is they go in here just like the old Minecraft, and they go open with WinRAR Archiver, and they see meta.inf. Do not delete it this time. Um, you need to leave it, or else it will not work. I don't know why. It used to be to where uh, you had to delete that for it to even run anything, or any special mods, but now you need to leave it, or you're screwed. Um, and since I just installed, this won't work. So I'm going to go ahead and delete everything you. Um, so let's just go ahead and take mods out. Say bye-bye mods and core mods. Pretend to put that in there. All right, look for anything forge and take that out. Whoops. Ugh. Anything that says forge, it'll screw this up if you use mod loader, mod loader, anything out. Um, do not delete anything else because then you'll have to reinstall Minecraft altogether. So, once that's done, go into versions. See FML. Make sure that those two are there. Now, this is a very simple part. You need to go to Minecraft 1.6. Open it. Um, do not think these are change your Minecraft version. That's just the launcher version. Um, okay, so I don't know why it's doing that to me. It shouldn't be doing that. All right. Um, so you'll go for me. For, for well, I'm sorry. For you, you'll click new profile. For me, I'm gonna click edit profile because I want to make a hundred of them. Um, uncheck. Don't uncheck that. Um, because it seems to really screw up the game for some reason, so don't mess with any of these. You know, the job arguments, if you want to increase your Java RAM, go do that from control panel, not here. Um, do not screw with your resolution. Um, do not screw with any of these except for this. Yes. Make sure it says release FML, um, and you want to if you want to check again to make sure that's right, go ahead. Just go back into the roaming. And two, and my those I have about 30 more seconds, so I'll have to do a part two, guys. Um, go back in their versions, and make sure that this is matches, this, which it does. So, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop it here because um, it's only letting me record 10 minutes at a time, so I'll upload a part two. Um, so, see you guys at part two.